Alright, what's going on everyone? Cubix here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So I've been cubing for just over 4 years now, and this is my 200 plus cube collection as of the new year 2021. If you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you enjoy this video, definitely make sure to hit the like button as well. Anyway, let's just get right into this video. So we'll start off with 2x2, two two, and I have 27 of them. Here are just some random 2x2s. This is the Rubik's brand 2x2, two two, which turns really bad. Here is a Z 2x2 two two mini keychain cube that never actually came with a keychain. A random 2x2 two two I found at a yard sale called Chucklin Roar, or whatever that brand is. And then a mini dice 2x2 two two that turns really, really bad. So here's some Mofing Jiaoshi 2x2s. Two two. Here is an MF Theros 2, one in stickerless, one in white. And then a Maylong 2x2, two two, which actually turns surprisingly well and has black internal. Here are three really bad Cyclone Boys 2x2s. Two two. I can barely turn them. Here are two Shangshao 2x2s. Two two. I think one is the Legend and one is the Tank. Here is a Yushin Black Kirin and a Yushin Little Magic 2x2. Two two. Here are two Chi'i Chidi S's and this is just the Chi'i Chidi. Here's a YJ Rupo 2x2 two two, which is really buttery and smooth and surprisingly good. Here are two non-magnetic Weipos and here's a Weipo WRM. This is a pretty bad Guoguan Zinghen M. This is a Chu NM 2x2. Here's a Volk 2x2M, which is extremely heavy, but still really smooth. Here's the YJ MGC 2x2, which is currently my main. And here are two GAN 2x2s, the GAN 249 V1 and the V2M. Moving on to 3x3s, I honestly have way too many of these, so I'm just going to speed run them as fast as possible. Starting off, we have the Maylong M and the MF Theros 3M. Here's the YJ Yulong V2M. This is my only MGC 3x3, and it is the version 1 magnetic, with some really neat primary internals. Here's a Yushin Huanglong, and here's the Volk Elite M and the Dian Tangyun V1M. Here's some GAN 3x3s, so this is the 354M, 2SMs, and a URM. And finally, we have the Weilong GTS 2M, the GTS 3M, and the WRM. Moving on to non-magnetic 3x3s, we have the GAN 356 Air and the GAN RS. Here's the original Valk 3. Here's a Chi'i Warrior S and a Chi'i Warrior W. And here's the Chi'i Sail W 3x3. Here are three Cyclone Boys 3x3. This is the Feiku, which is tiled. And here are two Feiwus, one of which can't turn because it has super glue in it. Here's the Weilong V1 and the Aolong V2. This is a Dian Zanshi in blue, which in my opinion looks really bad. This is a Fangshi Shuangren V2 Mini. Here's the Thunderclap V1, which is really loud. And here are three Little Magics, one of which was attempted to be Boron Treated and uh, yeah. Here are the Meilong and the Meilong C, which are literally the same cube. Here's a Kung Fu 3x3. Black Kirin V1, Black Kirin V2, which is tiled. And here's the original MF3. MF Theros, MF Theros 2, MF Theros 3. Shengshao Tank, Shengshao Gem, which has a weird material, and the Shengshao Legend. Here are two YJ Guanlongs, both of which are signed. And then here's the Guanlong Plus and the Guanlong V3. Here are four random Rubik's brands, and two Rubik's Impossibles. Here's the Chi'i Dimension, which is actually broken. Two random 3x3s I don't know the names of. Here's a YJ Rulong and a YJ Jin Zhao, which is concave. This is the Chi'i Warrior W Jelly Cube, Chi'i Sale 6.0, and Chi'i Big Sale. Here's the Mofeng Jiaoshi Mini Cube, Cubing Classroom Cube lineup. I cannot find the 40mm one though. Here's the YJ Mini Pillowed 3x3, a Chi'i Mini Pillowed 3x3, and the Jelly version. And these are also keychains. Here's the 40mm Cyclone Boys 3x3, and the ZQ Keychain 3x3 with the wrong color scheme. And then these are just some random mini off-brand 3x3s, and one picture one. And then here is the Electronic Go Cube 3x3, which is Bluetooth, and my Paper 3x3, which is really bad. Here are my 8 4x4s. This is the Cyclone Boys Feiwu and the Cyclone Boys Old Batch. Here's the Maylong 4x4, non-magnetic. This is the Chi'i Thunderclap 4x4 V1. Here's a really bad Yushin Kirin Black 4x4. And then my only two magnetic 4x4 is the Altu GTS V1 and the Altu GTS V2M. For 5x5, we have the MS5, the Yushin Little Magic M, and the Moyu Aochuang GTS M. For 6x6, we have the Cyclone Boys G6, the Aoshi GTS V1 non-magnetic, which is lubed with lubical black, and the X-Man Shadow V2M. And then for 7x7, we have the MF7 with a pink side instead of red, the really bad V Cube 7, and the Yushin Huanglong 7x7. And then I know these aren't technically in the WCA, but just to finish off the big cubes, we have this really huge Shengshao 8x8, the really small Mofeng Jiaoshi 9x9, and the Mofeng Jiaoshi 10x10, which is significantly bigger than the 9x9, and the 8x8. 
Now we'll move on to the rest of the WCA event. Starting off with Pyraminx, we have these ZQ Carbon Fiber Pyraminx, a random Chi-E Pyraminx, and two Pyraminxes that I don't know the name of. This is really bad and clicky. Comment down below if you know what it is. And this is still pretty good, but has a little bit different shades than like the Moyu. Also, it's really weird because this bad one has orange instead of red. Anyway, here is the Moyu Pyraminx, non-magnetic. And the X-Man Bell V1M. For Mega Manx, here's a Z-Cube Carbon Fiber Mega Manx, but the stickers were all peeled off. This is just the classic Shang Shao Mega Manx. And here's the X-Man Galaxy V2LM, which is my main. For Square One, this is the OG MF8 Square One, the Mofeng Jiaoshi Square One, and my main, which is the Yushin Little Magic. And it is magnetic. For Skew, we have the Shang Shao Skew, the Moyu Skew, my main, which is the X-Man Wingy Magnetic Concave Skew. And then this is my only clock, which is the Ling Out, and it's really, really bad. So moving on to the non-WC events, I guess I'll just start with these to get them out of the way. These are five random wooden put-together puzzles, which are actually surprisingly hard, and I've only ever solved each of these ones. So now I'll just move in a completely random order, but anyway, this is the Ready Minx which is like a Ready Cube Mega Minx. And this is the 2x2 Dodecahedron, which is literally just a 2x2 in the shape of a Dodecahedron. For my pyramid shaped cubes, we have two Pyramorphixes, which turn on the edges, and a 3x3 Master Morphix, which is just a shape mod of a 3x3. These are shape mods of 2x2s. Here's the Skew Diamond, which is a Skew shape mod in the shape of an Octahedron, and it's Land Land. And this is the Land Land 3x3 Diamond, which looks like a Skew shape mod, but it's really just a 3x3. Here's a Leafun Moyan 1, which is just the shape mod of a 5x5. And then the Moyan V2, which is also the shape mod of a 5x5, except it has little center pieces. And this is a Land Land Cane Ball, which is the shape mod of a 4x4. And then the Dian Shang UFO Cube, which turns really badly. Here's a really cool maze 2x2, which a ball goes through, it's perplexus. And here's some random like fidget toys or puzzles or whatever you want to call them. Here's a neat clear put together skull puzzle. And this isn't exactly a puzzle, but it's like a tin with lollies inside. Put it on like that. Here's a neat phone stand my friend made me. But anyway, let's get back to the turning puzzles, starting with these fully functional 1x1x1 one by one by one through 1x1x10 one by one by made entirely out of paper. This is a Yisheng Case Cube, which is a 3x3 shape mod. This is the MFJS Container Cube, which is a shape mod of a skew. Here's a Yisheng 3x3x4, three by three by and the center cap always comes out on the yellow side. This is a really neat YJ Yeet Ball named by Ting Man himself, and it is the shape mod of an IV Cube, as you can see. This is the Maylong Clover 3x3, three three, which is literally a 3x3 three three with different shape pieces. It's basically a void cube because it doesn't have any center pieces. And then this is the Maylong Polaris Cube, where if you offset all of the corners, it is a shape mod of a skew. Here are some gear cubes. This is the Mefferts Gear Ball, and a gear cube, which I'm pretty sure is also Mefferts, but I'm not sure. This is the Gear Shift 2x2. Then there is the Chi -E Gear Pyraminx and the Chi -E Gear 3x3 Barrel Cube. Here's a random wooden painted 1x1, and yes, the color scheme is wrong. Here's the Golden Mirror 2x2. And I think this is the Silver Moyu Mirror Blocks. This is a really cool Mefford Skewb Extreme. Here's the Ball 3x3, and I think it's YJ, but I'm not quite sure. And then this is a really neat Mirror Ghost Floppy Cube, which I got from my friend. This is the Rubik Snake, which I got from Walmart. And then here's a Chi-E Barrel 3x3, which is really easy to solve, because the colors are all the same through the layers. Here's some random Dollar Store 3x3, some of which I made mods out of. And then here's the Dollar Store Maze 3x3, which you have to roll these balls all the way through and solve it correctly. Here's a 15 puzzle which I got at a toy store. This is the Chi-E Windmill Floppy Cube. This is just a wooden, homemade, colored, 1x1x3. One by one by Here's another dollar store cube, and this is the Sudoku cube. Here's the Ivy cube, which is a shape mod of the skew. It only has two of the corners, though, and not four. And here's the Dino cube, which is actually what the Ready cube is based off of. By the way, these are both chi -E. Here's a windmill cube, and I think it's YJ, but I'm not quite sure. Here's another really cool puzzle, which I just got, and man, it's actually really hard to turn, as you can see. And this is the chi -E Axis cube. And then we have the really cool Fangkun Hollow Ghost cube. I really like this puzzle, and I've solved it twice already. Here's some more cuboids, and so this is a homemade Lego 1x1x2, which is extremely fast, but it's a little bit unstable. This is a Z 1x2x2. Here is a Rubik's Floppy Cube. Here's just a random brand football pocket cube 1x2x3. Here's a Chi-E 2x2x3, a Chi-E 2x3x3, and a Wit Eden 2x2x5, which I have solved, and it's actually surprisingly easy. And then to finish off the collection, we have some more wooden puzzles. This is a wooden ball that I have actually solved. These are two that I just have not tried to solve yet. And this is one that I can't solve. It looks something like this, I think. Actually, there is one more thing. And so these are just some metal puzzles that you have to try to put together. And they're actually really easy once you know how to solve them. 
Finally, I'll show you some of my cube accessories. So this is a bag that I use to carry around six cubes in at a time. This container has all my tools, other things, and only a few pamphlets that I've actually kind of liked. Here are my many cube stands. This is just a small bag of the only lubes that I have. This is an autograph from Patrick Ponce that my friend got me. And then on top of my shelf, we just have the really cool cube boxes that I've kept over the years. And some random pieces for those dollar store cubes and those random really bad magnets. And then this is just the G4 stack mat and timer that I use to solve at home. Oh yeah, and here are just some really cool Rubik's Cube earbuds that my friend gave me for Christmas. I actually really, really like these. Alright everyone, there we have it. That was my 200 plus cube collection as of the new year 2021. I put a lot of effort into this video and it took a really long time to make, so all the support given will be absolutely incredible and just super appreciated. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.